He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm -mm, it's Gary, baby. Gary has a tea and the color of the day. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Yes, Ricky, this story is still trending, and people are still talking about it, and it saddens my heart. But if you recall, y'all, Shannon Sharp recently did an interview, y'all, with the beautiful social media personality, Miss Brittany Renner, y'all, that went viral, y'all, due to her confession about her body count. Now, they're saying Miss Renner, who has a child, y'all, with Charlotte Harness star, PJ Washington, she recently, y'all, claimed that sleeping with 35 guys prompted a flurry of responses. Now, on the nightcap with Unc and Ocho, Sharp and um, Chad Ocho Single, they discussed Renner's comments about her sex life. Now, Shannon gave a progressive take on the remakes, all the remarks and um, explained that people would still be surprised if a woman only had been with two guys. And he said, quote, in a man's eye, if you've been with two old oh, men, honey, you've been with two guys. Honey, who raised you? This is what Shannon said. But, honey, Miss Brittany came back and she responded, which was very touching and it touched my heart. And here's what she said. There was a video that I did in my car where I was talking about how I had sex with, was it three men in a, a day? Yes. And then I ended up getting a yeast infection. Yes. That was, I came out pretty unscathed for just a yeast infection. Right. right. Considering what I could have gotten. Right. If you don't see me as a potential dating person, then great, one less heart to break. The average guy would tell you that I'm not wife material. That's fine because I don't want to be with the average man. The man that I want is someone who is understanding of that. And that's understanding that's what? Understanding that she's a, a, a beautiful woman and, you know, have friends. But that's a bit much, Gary. Three in one day and a year. God that's a lot. Lee. Well, what y'all do? That take, I ain't never did that. I know three. Mm. Some things you got to keep to yourself. Two. No, but she was <laughs> being open and that's what Chad... Oh, Lord. But that's what Ocho Single liked about it. She was being very transparent and open three. about it. Yeah, I, I mean... Did y'all not watch Sesame Street 3? That's the magic number? That's the magic number. And then you walk yes, away with is. a situation. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, but, but I'm glad that, you know, she was open about it. She spoke about it. And, you know, she was very honest about it. I mean, and Ricky? like um, Ocho, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> and Ocho said three? that, you know. <laughs> but the conversation on social. Three, I just see what 3 looked like for her. Like, the, the, where did, did you go to their house or were they coming to your house? <laughs> Was you moving? How was you moving to get three bodies in one day? I mean, it don't take much. It's 24 hours in a day. Like the funeral home on a Friday. God dang. <laughs> but the conversation on social media was about the 35, the number of yeah. the 35 Come athletes on. that she said she slept with. 35 in all? In all. That's yeah. that. Well, that's what she said Her the number was, was 35 athletes, and that's what the conversation was on social media. Was that number a big number? And I said, well, it depends. It depends. Was it over a lifetime or was it over a weekend? Yeah, well, and everybody have a body count. So, you know, so she was open about it and she has, what, one child. Ooh. So I don't think that, you know, you know she did nothing wrong. I, got 30. I might have about six, but not 30. Golly. Yeah, I also think it's a difference be between a woman that you want to be intimate with and a woman that you feel comfortable bringing home to your mama. Well, she's you know, a beautiful I woman. I mean, a... everybody have a mask on. Everybody looks pretty until you get to know them. Yeah. So, if you know. <laughs> <laughs> Moving well, on. She's being honest. Yes, so she's being yeah. honest. <laughs> Random queen. <laughs> you know, you know, my DMs are popping right now. <laughs> Did you say moving on? Moving on. Okay. <laughs> and other celebrity news, y'all. America's got talent host. Terry Crews, y'all, he spoke about the time, y'all, that he was broke out to retire from the NFL, y'all. Now, he said after retiring from the NFL, he said he struggled, baby, to get to the next level where he wanted to be. He said, I tried and failed many times honey, to secure a job in entertainment. He said, but there was no luck. And then, honey, his beautiful wife's wedding ring, honey, he took it, honey, um, he took it for a trip, honey, to the pawn shop, y'all. He said, and when that happened, she, you know, he got, I guess, a little bit more money or whatever. He said because he had to put food on his table and stuff. But some people are attacking. They say, "How dare you pawn your wife ring?" You know, because you ain't had no money. But they had to pawn something, though. I mean, if you ain't had no money and them kids needed to eat or whatever, you got to pawn whatever is nearby. And the ring, I'm sure, was worth a little bit more money. Yeah, money. So he did what he had to do. But he said after spending the previous night searching, honey, the couch, cushions for change, he said he made the humble decision, honey, to go in and register, honey, to be 
um, place um, as a temp somewhere. So, you know, that's what he did. And the temp agency sent him to a factory. And he said he arrived there unceremoniously. He handed a broom, and he was told to sweep the entire factory. He only made $8 an hour. So now he's rich. So I guess that's a, a story that, you know, a lot of people need to hear. You go from rags to riches, honey, and to the pawn shop. So, honey, he did what he had to do. And now he's worth $25 million, honey. So he's far from broke. So, you know. Congratulations, honey, to Terry Crews, honey. Ricky, do you have any of those unrag to riches stories? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I wish I had twenty five million dollars. Yeah. If I had one million dollars, I'd be happy. Shoot, but it's coming. It, it's it, coming. It, we have to keep our eyes on the Lord. The That's Lord right. uh, will fight our battles, and uh, we just got to keep fighting and yeah. pushing. He will bless us, not in our time, but in His time. That's they right. that wait. Brent, they that wait on the Lord. On the Lord. The Lord shall renew their strength. And, so and what else? We don't worry about what nobody else got because the same God that gave him $25 million will give you $25 million, but you got to trust him. Come on now. <laughs> well. You got to trust him and lean not unto your own understanding. Yes. Stay faithful. Stay focused. Do right. <laughs> Pay your tithes and offering and take your communion, your communion every first Sunday. He will. He will. Yes, he will. Thank you, Pastor Smiley. And the Kahlua today is tamale. On the hand, you say tamale, and on the Lord, you say beautiful gold. That's your Kahlua for the day. What just happened, man? Jerry, do you believe? Oh, I believe. But, Rick, what happened to the part that mount up on the wings? Right. Mount up. Oh, no. Shall we renew that strength? Yes. Yeah. I think I had got the scriptures mixed up. <laughs> That's all right. You said, up on wings like an yeah, eagle. That's right. Isaiah yeah. chapter been 40, to, um, verse 28. You had not been to Sunday school. See, you got to go to Sunday school to learn all that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to learn all that at church. You have to go to Sunday school. I got to get back into Sunday school. Thank you so much for that, Gary. Y'all give it up for Gary with the team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.